see the Belfast man uh, you can see he's about the same size an inch or two a hero there with uh, Gwyn who is tall uh, likewise for the way both uh, comfortably inside the 135 pound limit and uh, McComb is the younger man by two years stepping up in class stepping down in weight is he ready will he rise to the occasion we're about to find out ladies and gentlemen we are now ready for our main event of the evening 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant commonwealth lightweight championship please welcome our first challenger to the red corner from Merthyr Tidville, Wales, the former Welsh area lightweight champion, Gavin Gwynn! And here he comes, Gavin Gwynn, looking to succeed Joel Cordina as a Welsh holder of the Commonwealth title and he might well feel that uh, he is down in class to an extent because we know Cordina is a terrific talented young boxer we know Tennyson is a fearsome world-class puncher he might think this is a step down for him tonight against Sean McComb well we're gonna find out if that sentiment or feeling is true Welcome his opponent to the blue corner from Belfast Island, the public nuisance, Sean McComb. He is an entertainer, McComb. There is rarely a smile far from his face, I think it's fair to say. Well, now it's time for the serious business of delivering on the big stage. And this is the stage that he has been building towards for this vacant Commonwealth title. Such a big opportunity. He's worked for months towards getting down to 135 pounds. They've been talking about it. He was up in the air talking about it in recent months over the last year or so. And now it's become reality. And now is the time for McComb to deliver. Looking forward to seeing if he's up to it. We know the talent is there. The, the promise and the potential has always been simmering. Now is time for realization. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lee Eaton for MTK Global, live on IFL TV and ESPN Plus in association with Top Rank, proudly presents 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant Commonwealth Lightweight Championship. This contest is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Our officials for this bout, steward in charge, Robin Smith. Our three scoring judges at ringside are Michael Alexander, Howard Foster and Terry O'Connor. Our timekeeper at the bell will be Phil Morris and our referee in charge is Steve Gray. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our officials. It is now time to introduce our boxers. Our first challenger tonight boxing out of the red corner and wearing the grey shorts. He weighed in at 134.1 pounds. He comes to the ring with an excellent record of 12 wins with only two defeats. Two big wins by way of knockout. He's the former Welsh area lightweight champion from Merthyr Tidville, Gavin Gwynn. And please welcome his opponents boxing out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears the black shorts. He weighed in at 134.3 pounds. His perfect professional record reads 11 wins from 11 contests. Five wins inside the scheduled distance from Belfast Island. Please welcome the public nuisance, Sean McCall.
Looking forward to this one. Really is a, a big test, this for uh, McComb. No, Danny Vaughan in his, his corner, 12 rounds for the first time in his career against a, a guy who's already dipped his toe in these kind of waters and he's going straight at it. Uh, Gwyn, who's a, who's a big, strong, tall, lightweight anyway. Well, he feels like the man with all the experience, so he's just thought, I'm going to go right out there, put it on, put it on McComb straight away. I do fancy with McComb, the baddie, that the, the discipline through the first few rounds is going to be key. It is, of course, what we've seen him get hurt before, haven't we? You know what I mean? Where, he, where he's been swinging and left himself open with the body shots. And you know, lovely work that. We also know that McComb has those sort of skills and, and footwork. Three punch combination, then out of range. There's Gwyn there, just tying him up, just that no, no, McComb likes to, likes to spin off the target and fire again, and he's just holding him in there. <laughs> oh, good work from McComb in, oh, on the ropes as well, look at that. Me Made uh, Gwyn miss with each of those three shots. Just needs to go a little bit lower than he, Gwyn, with that right hand. It's good work there from McComb. Good body shot. A lovely spinning air off that front foot. I'm trying to rough him up, isn't he? Four on there from Gwyn to maybe a little frustrated at, at missing all those shots, but good that won't be deterring him. No, a nice little uppercut there from, from Gwyn. Oh, lovely, beautiful. So and fast. Again. Yeah, and another counter left. He's, he's, he's sharp. That left, hand, that left hand right hook there from McComb was so sharp. Really was. Missing with quite a few of those, Gwyn. Well, that might be the, that might be the right idea, Barry. Yeah, so slow him down. Well, hit the chest as well. So we don't know, when you've got a guy who's, who's, who's moving his head, the, the head's moving, the body stays sort of more or less in the same sort of place. So you can whack that body, stop that movement, hit him on the shoulders. And you feel also that the body attack might help. It's good home to, to slow down Gwyn. A little bit of success late for Gwyn, but it was a good start from McComb. He's really sharp behind his, his boxing and getting out of range. His defence th also through the, the first part of that round. But just a little cut there, right eye. a little bit of blood coming from the right eye of, of McComb. Didn't see that. It's lovely work there from McComb. Look at that three punch combination. Picking the target really well. No state to the body there. Because Green got his hands up really nice and high. And there's that lovely little shaft just that just ex accelerates into his into his work. Sharp right hand, left hook. Now Gwyn tried to make him work hard. He came on there early in that round and really tried to rough him up. Tried to make him work hard, walk him down. Didn't have a lot of success landing with with, with lots of shots, but we made McComb work, we made McComb constantly move. And I guess that would be his tactics, you know, to just try and tire him out and get, make him a bit more erratic, make him take chances. Round two. Well, he's not willing to, and then you then you got him where you want him. Good again there from McComb. And the movement as well. He's, he's having to use a lot of energy, mind, to be fair, to, to, know, to keep these sharp movements going, but it's working for him for a treat so far. Yeah, absolutely right. They're not smooth movements, they? they're all like those stabby movements with the feet, which, which is, you know, makes them fast and, and sharp. Oh, oh good nice, shot. Nice left hand too. Yeah, he really is switched on. He is on it. 
but that cut them with the right dice down and trickled on the face now. And it's a long way off for now, but with all the, the movement for the time being and 12 rounds beckoning for the first time. It's good there from Gwyn though, roughing him up inside, putting the head against that cut and working the body and the hooks. Again, see there, stay nice and low there. Gwyn gets, gets her head right on that cut. Happy to be there to an extent. McComb still, still largely making Gwyn miss. A little pocket of, a pocket of success here, though, for Gwyn. It's a nice jab there, though, from, from McComb. At least that cut, he's, he's down the, the side. The, the blood, you can see, just sort of trickling down the, the side of the cheek. And a good body shot too. And you fancy he might have to invest in a little bit of that. He's, blo he's blocking that right, that looping right hand from Gwyn. A cut doesn't look great though. It's a, it's a, there's a lot of blood coming from it. Admittedly down the side of the face, as I said before, but that's uh, that's all happened pretty quickly. Oh, good body shot there from Quinn. He, oh, he's hurt. Yeah, he's covering he up. McComb, has he hurt him? He hasn't realised yet. Oh, good uppercut from Quinn as well. And we saw that against Rodriguez, didn't we, about yeah. uh, a year and a bit ago in, in, in Belfast, where he's down in, uh, I think, the fourth round that night. And he, he really had to dig deep to, to come back. In the end, he did. He rode that difficult moment, McComb. Uh, it's just one. And, uh, well, Quinn. There's the old muscle man pause on the way back. He feels he's uh, he's getting there. A little bit of blood from the nose from McComb as well. So, I mean, he, he might well have um, won the first couple of rounds on the oh, scorecard. That's a great shot. As, as he extended the right hand, he saw that body shot there, right, right over to the left side. You see it there now. Look at that. Oh, just a great shot. I don't think I don't think Green really knew he hurt him though, because I think he would have really went for it. But I'm, you're hoping for Gwyn's case that the corner seen it and and they're, they're going to tell him now you've got to work that body quick now before he's recovered. Corners, ten seconds. Oh, there we see that. That's where the the cut from. Bit annoying. That's right at the end of the round too. Oh, so annoying, so unnecessary. But it might not be the, the cut that is the most significant factor in this fight with a long way to go. So we head into round three. You see, the, look, at, look how tucked up he is around the, around the elbows there. Oh, nice shot as well. He's having to work hard, isn't he? <laughs> McCubbin, nice little uh, left hand from him there. Got his shots here, Funk. He's just cuffing with the fingers, though, isn't he? Just cuffing with the shots. He's constantly working, though, with the pressure here. He's getting closer too. And he, he's he's well, able to, to pin him down, now, isn't he, Quinn? Even though he's not really throwing much. No, but he's uh, draining the tank there of, of McCall. Oh, oh, good right hook there. Yeah, you do fancy McCombs having to bust a gut here. It's very, very early if that's the case. Good body shot there from McComb as well. Good little fight, isn't it? Yeah. Hell of a pace. Lovely work there from McComb. Here's Gwyn to get back with his response. Marching forward, Gwyn. And back comes McComb. And Gwyn showing some defensive ability there, just switching the shoulders, making him miss. 
a bit lazy there when he was trying to get himself or, or just backing off there, McComb. from Gwyn. Lovely uppercut there and a little flurry. He just continuously throw. There's not a load on these shots, but he's just constantly throwing shots, isn't he? Yeah, he managed to sneak one round behind the left elbow. Uh, uh, digging one in goes McComb. Good shots. And again, that's a better shot there, that single shot off the ropes. Yeah, from the comb. It's the first time he's 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 gone to box move again, Barry in the whole round. Otherwise he, he kind of just dug in and tried to meet far with far, and I think that suited Gwyn. So here we go, three rounds in, what a pace, lots of intensity. And it's getting interesting. Let's uh, see how Spencer is seeing it. I've got it. I've got it. Two rounds to one. Um, the way how Gwyn has come at McComb and the body shots. I, I don't think McComb's realised that the the effects that he's having with the body shots. And unfortunately, and this is the youth of of um, McComb because McComb's trying to fight Gwyn. He should be boxing. And when he is boxing, he gets a success. But where is he being slowed up with the body shots? Oh, and it seems Spencer. like the bigger man's just wearing him down at this present moment. Thanks, thanks, Spencer. I do wonder if those cards are, are going to come to bear. So intense and draining has this fight been early on. Could be the other way around. That, that scorecard, just uh, opinions at this stage. But it's more the pattern of the fighter, I think. And whose tactics are going to come to bear? Who's going to be allowed to do what? And what's going to take most out of them? I think he, are the important questions as this one goes through the early rounds, Barry. Yeah, and I, I, th I think I think Spencer's card's probably spot on. For me. I think the first two rounds, even though Gwyn hurt McComb with that body shot, it was still McComb's wrong. That second round, that last round, I think was all was Gwyn. Could he just just not, oh, good shot there from McComb? He just constantly outworked him. But you got to keep that pace up. You got to keep the pressure on the younger fighter, make him panic. Oh, nice body shot there from McComb himself. Oh, that's lovely work. That's the sort of the, the little flurries. That's what you want. I'm like nice and sharp like that. And maybe, maybe Barry, that the last round, the reason that McComb had to hold his, his ground is he was still feeling the effects yeah, of that oh, body most, shot from the previous round. Most definitely. He did well to mask it as, as well as he could. Both went for uppercuts and it looked like Gwyn's was the better shot. That's good, good body shot there from Gwyn. Just cuffing with the head, just can't quite hit the tiger. That's good response though, back from McComb. Shot. Yeah. Switched to orthodox and found his own right hand there to the, the body, McComb. So look Ooh. at that though, he lands with two lovely shots. You just see McQuinn Quinn all of a sudden. I'm not having that and jump right on him. When it gets there and that, that sort of pace, that, that suits McComb. And again, when he takes that little half step back and then <laughs> counters with the, the left hand, McComb, such a good shot for him. So, yeah, that, that, it's those little laws there, just when 
Just before they get into range, really, he sort of finds the target, doesn't he? With a nice little shot. shots. That's good there from Gwyn, though. Just the sheer pressure, isn't it? That's when the, the last part of the round, he starts to get a bit more success. Yeah. McComb, though, I think he's got his win back, McComb. He's, he was much more back on his boxing in that round. How's the cut? So we look back on some of the action. That jab from Gwyn wouldn't have helped. No, and again, Gwyn just you know, piling forward all the time. You know, looking, you know, taking a lot of shots on the gloves, to be fair, and look at the fire back. But McComb, again, in that round for me, found enough gaps you know, to do some quality work. Those fast little counters he rattles off now and again. We're going to see one here now, I think. Good body shot from him there. And lovely little foot placement to spin off. And then that fast little flurry there. But he's having to work so, so very hard to keep Gwyn off, and it's four rounds and a 12 rounder. Yeah, oh, which is fine for now, but you, your mind keeps wandering forward, doesn't it? You can't help but do it. But this is a good fight. Round five. Into the fifth, cuffing right hand to start it from Gwyn. Lovely left hand there from McComb. And again. I'm sure I've seen him do that before, McCormick. He switched a few times, doesn't he? Yeah. Did it in the previous round, he's done it again here. Oh, body shot got through again there. Heads. came close together again to McComb with his own body shot. Good left hook, though. Two left hooks from Gwyn. He's one tough man in this, Gavin Gwyn. Oh, well, he's, he really he, is. He's uh, often, I mean, boxers are, aren't they? Full stop. But, they, you know, in Merth and Tipple, they breed them pretty tough, I think it's fair to say. Good work there from Gwyn. Yeah, he just copped a few, didn't he, there, in McComb? And again there with that uppercut. That's nice there from, from McComb. Nice sharp work, but he's looking. Can't find his rest, can he, anyway? That's for well, Gwyn's having more success in this one. He's not giving him an ounce of minutes rest. And there goes McComb with a, some retaliation. No backward step at all from Gwyn throughout this one. What a pace this is. There's a bit of blood on the, the back of the yes. head of, of, of Gwyn. Not sure, not sure if it's an elbow or something, that's a nasty little cut. Well, blood everywhere. The heads have been coming close together, but he's got a, he's got a cut on the back of his head. That might be an elbow. He just kind of he motioned to the referee, didn't he? Yeah. On the back of it, Gwyn. He, for the first time, he backed off. Oh, good work there from them. See, you've seen the blood, he sort of got a little second win there, hasn't he, McComb? Oh, nice body shot there from McComb too. And he's able to, to push off Gwyn. Again, the head's coming close together. Steve Gray's on to that. Don't want that to spoil this. Good right hand in that little combination from Gwyn early on. Well, Gwyn had, you know, first, Again. first... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Gwyn's, Gwyn's talking back to, at the corner of McComb too. But... It's been a good response from McComb because the, the first part of the round was definitely Gwyn's. But it's, it's funny, the psychological thing, because he's seen the blood and he's and, he, and all of a sudden he went from being a, you know, absolutely shattered to getting that second wind. That was, that was a round of, if not two halves, then two parts. I must have not entirely sure how that went, score-wise. There's all that, that blood at the back of the, the head. Now let's see what we can pick out. Oh, oh my goodness me! Lucky no one got cut there, really, isn't he? Very lucky. But the fact that the back of the head might just be an elbow when he swung a punch. There, there it is. Ah, there it is. It's totally accidental, wasn't it? He? he was just bringing his hand yeah. back. If anything, Gwyn's low with the head. If anything, no. He's been, be fair, he's been pushed down a little bit there, but just hope that don't don't become a factor. There's 
Tony Borg. And he's back to us. What a fight, what a cracking little fight this is. Yeah, t terrific. Round six. Imagine, Such a imagine this in the Ulster Hall. <laughs> That's where it would have been. It would have been. been. Yeah, it would have been. And he, he's got a he's got a huge following it as well. As we crack on at the halfway marker, swinging for the rafters there, the pair of them. You remember the you remember the pictures at the, the Falls Park in in Belfast when Conlon yeah. fought it, and you remember all the people walking. He actually walked yeah. from his house to yeah, did, yeah. to the to the ring to the to the venue that night. McCormick and all his sort of friends and family were walking with them. Some great shots. And that night, so yeah, they, how they would have loved to have been with him at the Ulster Hall, packing that place in. Oh, it's good there from Quinn, well, and a are. response. We are where we are, and I tell you what, they could fight this one absolutely oh. anywhere. Back comes McComb. Who's going to give? What's going to give? You're Tony Borg there. Just let him go, Gav, and then straight away, Quinn fires up a three-punch combination. Better defence there from McComb again, a feature of the, the first couple of rounds. Sharp little countless as well there from McComb. And the, the beauty of that, Barry, is he's only just, he's what you often ask for when you, you see, oh. you know, you young young prospects, he was just pivoting, wasn't yeah. he? Just small movements. There was an econ economy of movement, not expanding too much energy, and he was punishing Gwyn with every shot. But it gives you a different angle of attack, and also your, your opponent has to turn to meet you. So it takes a half a second, millisecond off, whatever it is, but it gives you an advantage to lead first, or to escape, for some of us who are less adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, there's blood everywhere now. It's like the half of it, you can't see where it's coming from. There's a big smear down the, the left cheek of, of McComb now. I, I don't know if that's just oh, come from the back of uh, the head of Gwyn, or whether that's a new cut for <laughs> McComb. It's a big smear of blood down his, his left cheekbone. There was a lovely right hand just a second ago from, from Gwyn with McComb on the ropes. Oh, that's, oh, he's just bundled two, over there. Three. Oh, no, he's, yeah, I think, I, think that, I think that's the right call from Steve yeah. Garth. I thought it was a slip. Maybe we'll, we'll confirm that on the replays for you. Again, the head's coming close together. Oh, it's good right hand. Wins relentless. Oh. oh, and maybe was McComb just wilting a wee bit at the end of that round. The pressure is getting intense. Time for a break. Time for a moment's pause and some respite. Yeah, now they're getting the swab on that left cheekbone of McComb's. It did look like it was more than just a smear of blood, but we'll, we'll maybe get a shot of that for you. And it was right on that spot. This is a hard fight, Barry. It's, a, it's captivating. I tell you something, he looked shattered. He did. He just wilted, he, didn't he? Yeah, he looked shattered in the last. Yeah, it's been. This has been a hard pace. I, I, hard, really hard for pace. I, I must admit, I, 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 I said about two and a half rounds ago that I wasn't sure the scorecards were going to be oh, required because exactly. it, it's been such a hard fight. I'd th McComb 3-1 up after four. The last two rounds, uh, particularly the, the, the penultimate Go, round, I found quite difficult to score, to be honest. So, was he tired at the end of that round, McComb, or was he just resting back on the ropes? <laughs> We shall find out, perhaps. The problem you've got with someone like Quinn, like now McComb's doing really good work, sharp punches, he's doing well, not much wrong in that respect. But someone like Quinn, who's so tough, and also got some skill as well, not just tough, but I mean, is the relentless pace and his ability to absorb a shot and still move forward. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's all in the gates, all your good work. You're still scoring shots and you're winning some rounds, but you can't take a second's rest. And it. 
he's not the sort of fighter, Quinn, who's going to go through the gears, but this pace, this one pace, is good enough. Good shot there from Quinn. Again, the sharper punches are from McComb. But Quinn's landed with some shots, and he's out, and for me, the last few rounds, I think he's just outworked McComb. Yeah, I think he's getting tired now, McComb. You can see just the, the arms, there's a little more weariness. They're just coming out a bit slower now. But also bear in mind, in some fights, you'll, you'll get absolutely exhausted. You get Sometimes you get a second win sometimes, and you can burst into life for three or four rounds. And it's not necessarily Good. just a second half of the fight thing. Barry. No, yeah, yeah, no, not always. It's good here from Quinn. Again, it's not. It's no, I'm not saying they're, they're proud of her punches. No lose on these shots, but they're all scoring shots and they're punching through the target, and they're draining the the, the tank there of Sean McComb. Yeah, he's trying to dig deep. Oh, he, yeah, he's getting tired here, McComb. Very, very tired. Yeah, do you hear that then? Do you know what? Tony Ball did McComb a favour there because yeah. he, he called on Gavin Quinn and had the fight in McComb. He didn't fire back. Oh, what's, oh he's turned his, turn his back, McComb. That's it. He's had enough. And it's waved off. And in the end, it is Gavin Gwynn who outlasts Sean McComb. His face a bloodied, cut on the left cheek as well as the right eye, and Gavin Gwynn was simply too much in the end. <laughs> Again, judging the guy on his defeats, because you think, you know, he's lost to a couple of guys at championship level and he's tough, but I got the ability and I got the power maybe to stop him in his tracks. But forget about that. Gwyn, you've got to give him his credit. No, he looked like the prize made never the prize. Or some for, for his career it looked like that was going to be that way. But look what he did tonight. He went. He boxed a kid really good on his form. Was hitting him with some good shots. He just walked through him. Just a work rate, work rate, work rate, and made him quit. That's what he's done. He just. The, I think McCall. There's going to be. There's going to be a little demon in in in, in McCall's mind for this for a little while because he turned his back. He's hurt. He got a cut. But it, it's more to do with exhaustion. He's absolutely knackered and he's got nowhere to go. And Gwyn's done that. He just, he's just just relentless on you all the time. Yeah, away from home, you know, it's a fantastic win here for, for yeah. Gavin Gwyn. And there you can see him. Uh, Man Mountain, just prepared to, to walk through walls. And, and, and so he, sa he said this would perhaps be the case it's, it's how he saw the fight unfolding and in the end he was able to, to there was that last last stand wasn't it from McComb where he spurred on by Tony Boggs words in the, in, in the opposite corner and he he, yes. he wung away with it with a, a sort of retaliated burst of, of shots and that was the last stand and, and he had success he landed with shots and he had success but it never deterred Gwyn and I think that that might have been the final just oh, I can't take this and that and that's and I say, and you used to say about walking through walls. Gwyn is willing to walk through a wall, and you no, know, and it's, it's no slight on him. But Sean McComb not willing to walk through a wall, and that was ultimately at the end of the day that was the difference in the two. Gwyn was just making him work so hard, even although he was winning those early rounds. Gwyn was making him work so hard. He was investing in the moments to capitalise later on in the fight, and that's exactly what he did. Oh, what, a fight, what a fight it was. Oh, pff, absolutely. Yeah, terrific. Put it up there uh, early in 2021. Let's get confirmation of it now. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and nine seconds of round number seven, our referee Steve Gray has stopped this contest. Your winner by RSC and the new Commonwealth lightweight champion, Gavin Gwynn. And boy, does he deserve that, uh, Gavin Gwynn. He's had to take his, his own defeats. He, he had to take his, his licks as well against uh, Tennyson. But uh, both of those assignments uh, in, in relatively high class have just put him in, in good stead to capitalise on an opportunity tonight and in his strength of character and his strength of person and his strength of, of body and mind have, have brought him through tonight and there will be two stories here Barry that fans and people will be talking about they will be talking about 
Sean McComb, who put so much into that, but it wasn't enough, and he couldn't and wouldn't and didn't do any more in the end. That will be one story, but the most important story is, of course, Gavin Gwynn. It is, because he boxed for this title before against Joe Cordina, and as much as he made him work hard, he couldn't dent it, and obviously he had Tennyson as well. That was an opportunity for him, and he couldn't get past Tennyson because of the, the sheer power that he had. And it looked like possibly that would, this would have been maybe, you know, this, if, if he didn't win this tonight, then you know, does he end up being on the who needs him club and also fighting for less money for, for eight rounders and six rounders again. So this is a, a must win fight for him, even though it's, it's relatively early in his career. But he was fantastic. That was, that was the pace for six rounds there was as hard and fastest pace as I've seen for a long time. It really was. It was relentless from from the bell to bell. It was relentless. And was relentless because this kid here, Gavin Gwynn, wouldn't allow Sean McComb a second's rest. Of all the good shots he tried to take, and all and all the